What's up everybody, it's your favorite Double Hinges, favorite nerd, and today we are looking at the MMC reformatted Optus Pexus, Texas Mexus, you know what I mean? <laughs> This on loan to me from Caleb, shout out to him. He hit me up on Twitter and was like, Ear, I got this coming, would you like to take a look at it? I was like, definitely. It's got a lot of buzz surrounding this guy. I like a lot of reformatted stuff. I wasn't going to get it, so I definitely wanted the opportunity to take a look at it. This is to celebrate the reformatted 10th anniversary, which is crazy, but that's what it is. So we are gonna take a look at this guy, but first we're gonna take a look at accessories. So he comes with four guns. The sculpts are identical. The only difference is, is that this is gray plastic and this is black plastic. They both had the silver paint there in the center. They both had the handle that will swing down. They incorporate a number of different ways. But uh, yeah, they're good looking. They're, the sculpts look good and the paint, even though it's limited, it does break it up enough. It's a little bit more kind of outstanding. You know what I mean? I mean that literally like it stands out. Um, on the black versus the gray, but it looks good on both. Now, in alt mode, you can take them, there's tabs here with the handles collapsed, obviously, and sort of interlock them, and then utilize the two uh, slots there and these two pegs on the, the last visible kind of arm blocks and plug those in, and it sits atop in uh, vehicle mode. And obviously, the same will work for the grays as well. He holds his gun just fine with a tab in the palm that slides into a slot in the gun handle. You get two additional weapons here, these uh, silver cannons. Sculpted nice enough. They love these X's. Like, they put a lot of X's on stuff. Like, it was on their Roadbuster and f a few others. But um, painted silver, top to bottom, look good enough. In vehicle mode, you can take the tab and use that slot there and peg them in as well. Those will tab into his forearm the same manner they tab into the truck mode. He comes with two additional fingers, and I like this kind of stuff. Like, Hot Toys always includes those extra ball hinges. Like, they're saying, look, this thing is well articulated. It's a lot of moving pieces. Stuff can happen. Perhaps we've even found that stuff could happen specifically with the fingers. If it does, here are two replacements ready and willing to be used. Just a thoughtful little customer service thing. I dig it. And lastly, he comes with an Autobot Matrix of Leadership because you cannot release an Optimus Prime or a Rodimus Prime or perhaps even a Hot Rod without one. It's just, it's, it violates some universal law. Planets begin to implode, I imagine. There's just a lot going on. There's a lot that's going on with this as well that we will get into. Um, but for now, just know that the gold paint looks good. The little gem in the center looks good. And uh, these things are spring-loaded. And yeah. Now, the Matrix can also be stowed in vehicle mode by taking off these two pieces they connect on to the side you know and you know and then you have these two bits here at the front just loosen them up unpeg them rotate them out on a double hinge this piece will flip out and then you have i don't know i think this plugs in some kind of way let's see yeah, and then that will go back in there, and these pieces will come back in and secure it. Now, the Matrix is stored in the same place in robot mode, and you can obviously hang the same pieces on his hips here, but um, in, order to, in order to access it, there's a fair amount of work you gotta do. So you kinda gotta get these uh, wheels up and out of the way, get the arms up and out of the way, in order for you to kinda slide back your chest pieces, to open up the chest to flip your matrix out. And then you gotta kinda put them back together. So, um, you know, technically it works. It's just an awful lot of work uh, in order to make it happen. So it'll be up to you as to whether or not that is worth it, but you can do it. He also came with this alternate head sculpt. I'm not sure if this is specific to the one that he pre-ordered. You know, I know that sometimes they throw in like a Planet Steel Express exclusive or a certain toy um, distribu distributors exclusive. I'm, so I'm not sure. It, it wasn't in the box, which is the only thing that kind of sets my spidey sense off about it. Like it was sitting in a baggie outside of the box. But uh, silver ears, silver faceplate. I like the, the sculpt generally. Eyes are a little close together for my for my taste, but not bad. Silver on the uh, crest there, metallic blue on the eyes. Great sculpt, great paint. Real quick, there he is, kind of all armored up. Nice enough look. And you can extend these barrels 
real quick, there he is kind of all armored up in vehicle mode and it looks good. And you can collapse this too if you'd like. Um, you should probably collapse it first before you peg it in. But depending on what look you like, I don't know why you'd want to collapse them. I think they look better kind of extended in vehicle mode. But the, the decision is yours. The choice is yours. Do with it as you please. So let's look at vehicle mode. Uh, rolls like a champ. And the red looks good. I got a little scuff on on mine here, but overall looks good. And little silver paint accents look good, both on the top. They almost look like vents. You know, I know they're supposed to be vents, but they uh, they look like functional vents. You know, usually when, you know, in a traditional kind of G1 Prime, they don't sit in the same way. But for like a space vehicle, like they would have these like kind of exhaust vents. It's pretty cool. Speaking of exhaust, we have these pipes down here on the side that look good. Silver paint there, silver paint there, silver paint everywhere. Looks good. I'm anxious to check out the articulation because it's just been all the, all the, all the rage. Rave? All the rage? All the rage, right? I believe so. And then the little gold details there. I like the silver underneath the translucent blue. That kind of deco usually looks good and works for me, especially on this scale of figure. So, yeah. No issues. There it is next to Tiger Tracks. So, sizable. So let's get it transformed. Untab these flaps here and maneuver the middle ones as close as you can. You kind of have to like do one and then do the other. Like if you move this one to the inside of the legs and that will allow you this, all of the arms are here pegged in at like five or six different places. So that will allow you to get like kind of the one hand out. And then after you've gotten the one hand out, you can kind of maneuver the other one. Not, not the greatest there i'll be honest not the smoothest but ultimately fine then take these pieces that are the uh hip skirts and sort of bring them down into position that should be fairly obvious split the legs and then you can bring this piece down now there have been some reports of breaks in the back because of this panel here so as you go to collapse it it's in line but if it gives you any kind of push back you can just push on it ever so slightly you see you see how it can get out of line there if you bend the knee like a Daenerys then it'll straighten it back out then it'll slide back down just if you should happen to run into issues all right so this uh let's open this up we'll bring the foot out this is on a double hinge so that'll actually rock back and then you have this bit here just angle that up and out and then make sure that you have uh, that lined up with your kneecap. And then it's just a matter of sandwiching it properly. So let's see here. There. Now, as you can see, or maybe you can't, this thigh joint is sitting down a little bit lower on the universal than this one. So it's already happened, but there is a slight shift there. So just be mindful of it. Then this uh, whole section here will collapse in if it hasn't already. So sometimes it can stand out like that because of the double hinges. If it's still standing out, you can collapse it down in. So let's try to show that again. So extend the leg and then you can move the foot down, rock the foot down on a double hinge and then you can even bring the thigh down a little bit more you hear it pop into place there open up this so that you can expose your kind of knee piece that's going to be encapsulated around these two sections and it's just a matter of getting it lined up quite right um, and it's a little bit more challenging to do in front of the camera. But there, snap everything in together. As you can see, it's sticking out. This one has a, is a better example, but it'll all collapse in if you kind of push it. If it gives you any resistance, just kind of squeeze the panels a bit and that'll help with the double hinges moving inward and then you can collapse it. Spin the waist 180. You can collapse the lower body down. You can untab the wheels and sort of just get them out of the way for now. These side pieces here are on double rockers. So like they'll, it feels like it, but it looks like a sliding joint, but it, it doesn't feel like one, um, but I guess it is. So just, I guess, slide it forward. Yep, slide it. 
And then there's this part, which I'm having a lot of trouble with, but this should come down and tab in to there, but I can't get it to. Like, that's there, but it's like, it's not solid. Um, but I mean, it's in there, so we'll just go with it for now and see how it turns out. Separate the arms from the middle section get them out of the way and then you want to open up this top portion here so that you can try to get the head through and we did it little tight tight little spot there then you can bring your backpack down it's on a double hinge as well and then bring these pieces up and you want to tab them into let's see here it's this circle and you're trying to get it into that circle so there there's one there's the other then this will sit in the center, and then these pieces, I think, rotate down. Rotate the shoulder at an angle, I think. It's hard to kind of tell, but where these two circles here, basically, of the shoulder joint are, like, sitting down at, like, almost a 45-degree angle, and then angle the armor piece up. And then, at the block, rotate the arm down. Then this piece is on a double hinge that will extend and then just sort of sort it until it makes um, anatomic sense, right? So it's a little tight there, but bicep, wrist, well enough, I think is how you're doing it. I'm going to do this forearm first on this one and then rotate at the shoulder. Yeah, because that looks the cleanest. And I think, I don't know where these are supposed to go. I think forward, these little top bits. And then bicep, wrist. And I think that's it. I'll clean it up, we'll take a look at it. So let's talk about the figure. And I like this head sculpt a lot better. I'm guessing that this is the second one they did. They, they did two, right? There was some hubbub about it. I feel like I recall something about that, but like the, the eyes and stuff look a lot better than this one. But I guess instead of wasting it, they gave you this one too. So good on them. All right, deco wise, it's the same as the other, so we're not gonna go through that. The head is on a ball peg at the from the neck into the head, and then it's a hinge, um, a swiveling hinge, so basically a universal from the neck into the chest. Using both, you can get the head all the way up, a good bit down a swivel, confused optimist look, or a librarian look, etc. So no issues there, works beautifully as we would expect. Now, there's a lot going on with these shoulders, so let's try to go through them all. There is a swivel hinge here, so basically a universal. So that's going to give you the over-the-chest beginnings of a... Um, of a butterfly joint under the chest as well but it is a little bit more limited than you might expect now you can get the arm all the way up so no issues there let me back the camera out a bit now no issues there you know it doesn't look the best but you're gonna do this for like a particular pose that's going to look good right all right you also get a little bit back you know and it's really just that cut that prevents it but whatever it's fine. It's also painted silver, which is nice. And then this piece here will kind of hinge up and out of the way, depending on how you want it. We have silver accents here on the red. The red looks painted to me. And then we have also a swivel at the shoulder and then also a hinge at the shoulder. So it'll get you 90 degrees out normally. Now, the hinge from the shoulder to the arm um, is just a little bit more... Uh, poorly tolerance than the rest of it like it's too tight 
So it's it ends up bringing like when you go to manipulate it, it brings up this hinge rather than the other hinge. So you just have to sort that yourself. It's not the biggest deal in the world, but just something worth noting. Then we have silver for the arm. You, you can kind of because of the double hinge, you can kind of collapse this a little bit if you prefer the proportions or extend it fully. Kind of up to you, but it's nice either way. You have a swivel at the bicep. Now, the only problem here is that the swivel at the bicep does bump into the shoulder uh, block there. So there's a way around it. Just get the arm up and then swivel the bicep and then bring the arm forward and then you at least get the angle, you know what I mean? So no issues, just something worth noting. I had to do it for one of the pictures I took. All right, then we have a double jointed elbow for the full range and you got some pistons in there. I like that kind of stuff. Always looks good, always works well. And then we have some nice sculpted detail in the red block down here and I believe it is painted. The wrist swivel and hinge in out, nothing up down. Then you have a ball peg at the thumb that comes out to a primary hinge and then a secondary hinge as well. Then the fingers are all done kind of in the... Um, the X Transbots Menasaur style, where they're all hinged at the base knuckle, and then they have a primary, secondary, and tertiary hinge for the fingers. So um, you can get them to do pretty much whatever. Woo bag baby. Rest in peace, Pop Smoke. It's been a year now. And then out the side. So fully articulated, you won't have any issues. All right, for the body. You have the blue with the uh, the silver with the blue translucent over top. We've already talked about that. Looks good. Works well. You have this hinge inside. Now it is pegged in, but you can unpeg it, you know, and then rely on the tension for an ab crunch, right? Then you can kind of move the whole body over. The hips we're going to get to in a bit, but basically you can bend him, so to speak, all the way over. Now going back, it's a little trickier because of the aesthetics. Uh, you also get a teapot at both, and you get a swivel at both. So no issues there. It's completely articulated except for the hinge back. But of all the ones that you were going to trade, I would su suspect, rather, that that would be the one. Then we have blue paint there in the chest, and we have this silver paint down there. It looks good. The hips, a lot to talk about. So these hips will actually raise up the hip flaps there. Um, as will these on the side and nothing on the back. The hips themselves are a universal joint. However, the universal is connected towards the crotch or the, you know what I mean, unit. And that is where the whole universal joint will swivel towards the front or towards the rear. So if you swivel it towards the front, you can get the leg all the way out and about, no problem. If you swivel towards the rear, you still get it it just is a slight difference on the angle. Um, and actually, let me see. Uh, no, it's a little bit more limited in the back. I'm sorry. So you swivel to the front, then you get the full angle. Uh, it just the swivel moves so easily that it's not really a big deal. All right. So then uh, that's basically that. However, it also assists, obviously, with the crunch. So it works two ways. And it's sculpted, which is nice. Um, the pelvis and the thighs are all painted silver. And... This, these thigh joints here do like slide down the universal. So you have the full Van Dam, but you don't get the leg back a whole lot, which is fine. You don't usually use that, that motion anyway, but just interesting. Nice sculpted details in the thigh as well. You also get a thigh swivel and you get a double jointed knee. Yes. Um, with the hinge stuff, and the hinge stuff moves the knee pad, so the knee pad stays in place with it all. Very clever stuff. I'm sure you've seen a thousand pictures that illustrate it. However, the tolerances aren't great. Um, it's a little tight, but just in case you haven't seen it, we'll show it here. You can see that everything kind of moves a la Flames Toys or a Thousand Toys, or, you know, it's in that pocket, which is nice. Silver paint here on the pipes. We've already talked about that in truck mode. And then we had the feet. So you have a toe tilt for one. Once again, a little tight, but you have it. And then you have a double hinge for the ankles for the tilt. So that'll get you all the way up like Remy and Fat Joe and a good bit down. Well enough for anything you would need, I suspect. And where it plugs into the double hinge, you get the rocker plus some little paint, silver paint details on the toes. So yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's pretty good. It's, it's pretty good. It, it could be perfect. Um, 
you know, which is a little frustrating, but it's just uh, some build stuff that kind of ends up kind of getting in its way a taste. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, we got to get a view from the back, but let's try to get the shoulders back together before we do so. Um, there it is from the back. So, you know, pretty clean and full. Sometimes uh, you can see this, this little flap here is a little ate up too. So I got to be careful. I got to be careful with that. But, um... You can see that it's pretty, it's, it's a lot of times MMC stuff in particular will have like a, you know, some, uh, wide open spaces and stuff in the back of their, their reformatted stuff specifically, but not this, this is pretty full and complete throughout. So, uh, kudos good on them. Looks good. Size comparison wise, there he is next to a masterpiece car. So hopefully that gives you some sort of an idea as to what to expect. Uh, he's going to be a decent size. He's going to fit right in with your chug line. As far as MMC goes, he'll fit right in with the reformatted line, I would imagine. So no complaints. Final there. thoughts wise, let's start with the negatives. The biggest glaring negative about this guy are the tolerances, specifically that in the shoulders and in the knees, but not limited to that. In fact, they will pop up a little bit of everywhere, kind of depending upon how you're trying to move the specific joint and there are a lot of joints which is kind of the point right so it would make sense that they would be throwing the dice a bit more on that my only other issue and it is relatively minor is just that some of this stuff doesn't quite feel like it completely has a purposeful place to be the shoulders kind of being the prime example you might say and it doesn't mean that you can't put it into a position that's definitely going to work and be satisfying. It just means it doesn't seem like it has a, a home. You kind of have to make the home for it and then adjust and adjust and adjust as need be. But it would be nice if it had a proper home that you could kind of unlock and then utilize the articulation. That's my opinion on it anyway. And I think that's it for negatives. The positives are plentiful. This is a great piece. Um, the articulation obviously is outstanding and it kind of better be right since that is the point of it But I mean they they gave it everything they got and as a result it works really well You can tell they put the energy time effort into it and it shows it paid out But one thing it also appears that they put a lot of time energy and effort into that They don't normally is the paint and this thing is painted. Well, it's really well painted Probably one of the best reformatted paint jobs that we've seen to date both in quantity and quality It also has a ton of accessories. They all integrate into both modes. It gives you options on the guns it gives you options on the heads the materials feel good the build is decent it's too tight but better too tight to be too loose or than to be too loose rather so i could nitpick this thing all day but the truth is is that all in all it works pretty well it's built fairly well it's painted really well and it's articulated really well and the transformation's kind of fair which is a fair cost to pay for the amount of articulation so ultimately a strong recommend for me thanks for listening thanks for watching until next time take care <laughs>